Again, if I go into my partner, he's strong. So I need to go that way slightly. That changes the angle. Step through, come underneath, draw him down. Let him go in a minute. If I go straight into him, he's strong. So again, I need to change the angle there. Come through, turn, and then draw him back this way. Again, like I said, you can stay up. If you've got bad knees, if you haven't, you can come down. Here, through, back here. So here, as he comes in, you really turn a long way. Back to back. And it was funny actually, because Sensei taught this, and we were online looking, and there's a demonstration of O-Sensei back in the 30s, I think it was 1936, where he does this, he literally goes back to back with his uke here. But what you mustn't do is pull your partner around in front of you, because if I whip him around, he steps right in front of me, he goes, yeah, and he just hits me. <laughs> okay, so here, so here, that way. Okay, so big movement, here do O-Sensei's wants yeah. bigger movement. So we're going to come all the way off over here, drawing back this way. It's very much more diagonal. Yeah. So I'm going to be going towards that window, much more so. Temi, come through, drawing back, big movement. Still keep behind him, and then take the forward. Yeah. So, big movement. So diagonal. I start off going that way, and I keep it going on that way. So here, come down. So long. Here, here. Hey. Okay, so a little movement here with this foot, comes off the line, because you always want to get off the line of the attack, here, and then draw back, and you can attack it. Okay, try that size. But here, small step off to the side, and then a big draw back. That will stay sideways. But it's just about getting you to move your body, real, and be sideways. He's in a sense, he's very sideways with a lot of his techniques. Keep up. Up. Okay. So you just widen slightly. One side to take you straight up and then make a start. Fluid and flexible. Offer 
and that in the interaction. So sensitivity, I'm gonna go this one. Come on, Mark. And stay sideways. Don't flip him in front where he's staying with you. Keep him on your side. You want to dip, take his center, move straight, slightly behind his shoulder here. He has no influence over your body. You're safe, but you can't turn your head unless your hand centers and you do this with the hip. You don't move the feet. This is the hip. As you move them over, you follow through with the foot. And then the hip is free to move again. So this is a forward movement, it's not pulling back, you want to work energetically. Physically, physically, proper technique, physically, there you are. But then you want to work with energy. And uh, also saying, would say, uh, move with his spirit. And people say, what does that mean? For me, that just means move with his intention. And you can call his intention out. So, ah. so you can call it out. So that's I'm calling his energy out. I'm calling his intention out. And I'm moving with that. So I think that's what I translate. That's when when also say speak about move with the spirit, that's what it is. But you gotta step up then from the physicality of it and just work with the energy. Yeah? It doesn't mean that the form goes out the window. It doesn't mean that. It just becomes more subtle, more fine more refined yeah so you shouldn't drag him around even if it's a solid strong beast yeah just slowly so you catch him on his and then when you free it up you don't you're not stuck you can move around and you know the distance you know how many and then you can invite, you can go, you can play with it as you like, as it comes. You keep him safe if he tries to escape. You have the sensitivity of going or returning, yeah? So as you come in, you guide it. You, you gotta bring him down. Slightly up the line. He coming in here, yeah? And then lock the have techniques where we transfer. Basically, we have this twist up here. And we cut this up and we come back to do an enemy. But really, when it becomes flowing, we transfer this feeling to this feeling. This will satisfy his need to hold something. But you gotta do it without him noticing it. Yes? You gotta be very transferred and you're like, you have entered on the inside. Center, beautiful. without him really being a part of it. But you can't do it too soon, so you gotta have open. So don't let him run at you. Take it easy, wait, call him out, and you have him, yeah? Very gentle. Morning, guys. What to do with someone who's very, very strong with you? Don't panic, yeah? You relax, open your fingers, because you can't stop Open your fingers, open your fingers, bring the palms up. Don't fight his grip. Now you start playing with it. See where he's going, where he's not going. And slowly, even the mountain topples, yeah? So, don't fight his grip, because the moment you start fighting his grip, he's gonna hold you, yeah? Relax within his grip, open the fingers, 
extend the key, stay in your fingertips. Now, you can play with it. He can try to resist it. He can try. He can play, but there are always open windows where he's not. He's trying to hold in one way, but there's always other places where he's not. So you want to have this feeling of play, because you cannot go on rigid form always. Sometimes you can go form. You can work path, yeah? But even sometimes that, you want to be more a little bit sensitive to the whole thing and work through it. Yeah. Basic form is essential for stability, centering, everything, yeah? But sensitivity, see, I take him in the same way every time. He's, he goes for the same thing every time. Let's see where we can go. I goes for the same place. <laughs> I want to be taken this way, but it doesn't need to. Oh, now he lets me. He lets me. I <laughs> guess <laughs> he's too nice. <laughs> so, really, there's no set plan left and right. We we'll see. We play with it. Play with it. The core view with the strength, with the centering, extend, don't fight this grip, work through here, follow through. Then, when you have allowed him to hold you, because you don't want to be in a fearful relationship where you're afraid that he's going to get hold of you, because then you're going to try to jump the gun, yeah? Yeah. You don't want that relationship. You want to be totally secure in his arms. Because you, at least you know where his arms are, they're not in your face. <laughs> So, that's fine. Then, when you have that safety and confidence, move it into flowing. Yeah? That means you don't wait. The moment he lays hands on you, you enter him. Not on the outside two muscles, but the inside. Yeah? And he's still too nice. He's still too nice. <laughs> 